Hi everyone, we've had a fantastic time at Expo and of course we thought we'd round up some of our favourite products. We've had so much more than this, but um, yeah, we've had a chosen favourite. Yeah, so we've basically chosen to talk about our favourites because it would take us forever to go through absolutely everything. As you can see by my voice, we are exhausted, but we've had so much fun and we've got so much stuff to take home with us. It's we insane. have. So should we get stuck in? Let's do it. So one of my favourite, favourite finds was Four Sigmatics Mushroom Chocolate. I know this was sold out online and unfortunately isn't available yet in the UK um, but has incredible uh, ingredients including their 10 mushroom blend so if you ever get to their shroom room check this out yeah that's an amazing project we can't believe that they gave us that <laughs> so um, this is Cocomel Bites these chocolate they're insane like I can't even begin to describe them do you know what they remind me of you know like those um, chewy, worthy, worthy, worthy well, originals. originals. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. I haven't tasted anything like this as a vegan. I've been vegan for five years and I haven't found anything quite like this mm -hmm. before. So we were really excited to find these and um, I'd never heard of them previously either. So they're like chocolate with uh, like gooey caramel in the middle. Like a toffee. They have different, yeah, different uh, flavours and this one was sea salt, which mm. was like one of our favourites. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, what else? Okay. Oh, this is exciting. Sun Warrior have come out with two new bars. Mm -hmm. Then they have their protein bar range, but they just come out with their superfood bars, and these taste delicious. We have uh, lemon and coconut and blueberry and pomegranate. But which, which was your favourite? I remember your favourite was the blueberry, yeah. and mine was the coconut. Yeah, so delicious. Mm. Hope to see these in the UK soon. So. Yeah, right, <laughs> Okay, similarly again, um, a grain-free granola bar. Again, not something that you come across very often. It's by a, a brand called Purely Elizabeth, and this uh, is a superfood reishi chocolate mm, sea salt. So delicious, yeah. Again. They have great cereal, only mm. available in the US at the moment, um, and I believe these bars are fairly new. Yeah, they are, so hopefully we'll see Purely Elizabeth in the UK soon. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Mm -hmm. Okay, another great brand that we have been loving is yes. Schmitz. Um, we both have their deodorant, which I think you'd agree is one of the only kind of natural de deodorants that we found that really works. Yeah, 100%. Um, I haven't tried their soap. Mm -hmm. uh, they gave us some samples of their lavender and sage, because we said that was one of our favourite scents, and their cedar wood and juniper. Mm -hmm. So we let you guys know, as I'm sure these will be great. Yeah, Schmidt is the only uh, natural deodorant that works for me, period, mm -hmm. and I've gone mm -hmm. through so many and tried so many, so they are a great brand to check out if you haven't yeah. already. And you can uh, purchase them from Content Beauty. Yeah, you can uh, get them in the UK and you can get mm -hmm. them from contentbeauty.com, one of our favourite beauty websites. Fantastic. Yeah. So what else are you excited so, about? So oh. I am really excited about these. So these are activated superfood popcorn. Um, and the flavour is Cinnamon Twist. Mm. Now, Living Intentions is such a great brand. Yeah. Um, and we just love that they take you know, usual products like popcorn and then they upgrade them by adding mm. the amazing superfoods and adaptogenic herbs. And, yeah. and it's tasty. So tasty. And they actually weren't giving these away to everyone. We specifically asked for them because yeah. we're a massive fan of their brand. And they kindly gave us two packs. Mm -hmm. So we're so excited to be taking them home with us. Yeah. So I'm trying to think what else. Oh yeah, yeah. okay. So Go so. Macro, we've had so much stuff. Go <laughs> Macro is one of my favourite bars. Um, this one is their blueberry and cashew butter. Um, and they also gave us uh, protein pleasure. Oh nice, mm. uh, yeah, peanut butter, chocolate chip. Um, and I believe another flavour. Yes. Oh, there's so much stuff here. Oh yeah, I can see another Pooley Elizabeth uh, flavour there oh, as yeah. well. So that's, again, Superfood Reishi Banana Nut Butter. Delicious. Oh, this just sounds so good. Oh, I've spotted the other bar. So, yeah, Go Macro. Uh, this one's a dark chocolate and almond. Mm. They're organic, non-GMO, vegan and gluten-free, and they taste delicious. I love throwing these in my bag if I go to the gym or something. Um, and it's, they're really filling. Unfortunately, they're, really filling. they're not in the UK at the moment. But if you're ever in the US or for um, our US followers, definitely recommend this brand. Mm -hmm. um, they're definitely sold in Sprouts and Whole Foods. And so check them out. Possibly. Yeah. Amazing. So this brand, Nativia, um, was one of our favourite brands as well. These are sold in the UK. Mm -hmm. Yay! Hooray! Um, 
than these are all coconuts so um, they're kind of like tiny little chewy coconut sweets um, that are great for giving you energy mm -hmm. fabulous for on the go when you're traveling um, and they are freaking delicious as well mm -hmm. so amazing well okay this isn't a new product but we just had to mention these yes. We love them. Yeah, they're my absolute <laughs> favourite. I'm a little bit addicted to them. So yeah, dandies, and we heard that they are going to be branching out to more stockists in the UK, mm. hopefully. Yeah, so, yeah, you can only find them in specialist places at the moment in the UK. Mm -hmm. We um, we had their pumpkin flavour, which is a seasonal flavour, mm -hmm. and their peppermint. peppermint, which are delicious. So good. You would never, ever tell that these are vegan. Yeah. I mean you could give these to a non-vegan and they wouldn't know because um, marshmallows are made with gelatin usually mm. but these are gelatin free, gluten free and vegan. Yeah. Check them out. Amazing. So what else? Oh, Wild Friends. Mm -hmm. I love the packaging um, on these guys and their stall was so cute in the expo as well. It really stood out. So they have a little, what is it? It's not, it's a, not a fox. Is it a fox? A squirrel? a squirrel? I'd say I it's think? a squirrel. Yeah, I think you're right. It's cute. So, uh, yeah, they've got classic creamy almond butter. And um, we also had the chocolate coconut peanut butter. Um, we've noticed that these um, little sachets for um, nut butters are coming quite popular in the UK and yeah. the US. They're great if, you know, if you're on, your, on the go and you've got like a banana or some rice cakes and you fancy a little mm. snack, you can just put these yeah. all on. I guess my favourite thing about nut butters is is that you can add them to fresh fruit like bananas, mm -hmm. like apples. It makes it a lot more of an exciting choice. Yes, yeah, and protein dense as well. Yeah, and yeah. great for kids. Yeah, mm. check them out. Yeah. Um, oh, okay, these were cool. This brand has just bought out um, Kuchiko. Yeah. I think they're called yeah. the first, they, they've said they're bringing out the world's first organic and sugar free candies, which is really exciting. That's really cool. Um, we haven't tried these yet, but we'll let you guys know. They're made from tapioca fi uh, fiber um, and colored with organic carrot, organic apple, black currant, and organic radish. That's so impressive. Um, yeah, so mm. we'll be excited to try these. Yeah, I think the idea was that you take them back for your nephew. Okay, maybe he can have one and I can have the other. <laughs> Amazing. So, what are these? Oh yeah, Rawhide. So these were one of the first brands that we came across. They were in the breakfast section in Expo West. Um, and these are roasted, roasted watermelon seeds yeah. uh, and a salted flavour. Again, something that you really don't come across very often. Yeah, I've never tried roasted watermelon seeds. No, yeah. I, I don't think I've even tried watermelon seeds. So yeah, this is something that I'm really excited to try. And yeah, it's just always nice to see fresh new products Definitely. on the market. Okay, this is a brand that we both really love. And um, they're called Ticino. And they mm. make alternatives to coffee. Um, you know, both of us do enjoy coffee, but we're a little sensitive to it. Mm. So it's great to have an alternative. Um, here they have a chocolate dark roast Sounds amazing. Um, and this one's the maca chocolate but they do have um, different coffee flavors um, and it's made with roasted uh, carob barley chicory um, clean ingredients and it actually tastes really really good there's no yes. caffeine in them so yeah. it's a nice alternative it's a brilliant substitute yeah yeah it works um, so these guys oh, these yeah. were really 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 cool so it's crystallized tea so basically to explain, um, they're little crystals uh, which um, dissolve into hot water and creates a tea. So yeah. instead of having a, a tea bag, you would, you would use these crystals. Um, a really cool brand with really cool packaging as well. Mm -hmm. um, they again had a great stall in Expo and I haven't tried them yet, have you? No, I haven't. But yeah. we love the fact that they're organic as well and you use fair trade tea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great. Cool. Uh, what else do we have? Okay, so this isn't a new product, but we wanted to give them a shout out because it's our favourite sweetener, mm -hmm. uh, the Lacanto Monk Fruit Sweetener. So they've got a golden one um, and a classic one, and we also did try um, their syrups. Mm, we did. What we really love about these is that they're zero glycemic um, and they're vegan, obviously non-GMO. Um, and they're not, we find that they're not harsh on our stomach. Sometimes mm. um, xylitol, which is another natural sweetener that some people like, um, can be a bit hard on your stomach. But this um, is 
tastes great, mm -hmm. just like sugar. Yeah. Um, but it's a really great natural sauce. Um, mm. It really works. Yeah. It really does sweeten your things up. And it's not just for coffees and teas. You can also use them when you're baking in cakes and when you're making chocolate. Mm -hmm. So absolutely anything that you want to sweeten. And we have amazing. purchased these. Even though they're um, available in stores in America, we have purchased these online. So mm -hmm. um, I can't remember where, but we'll put the link uh, down below to where you can check them out if you're in the UK. Perfect. Okay, so we've got some matcha here, a company called Iyama, that's so hard to... Yeah, yeah so they, they're really cool because it's not just matcha, they also add chlorella into their powders as well. Mm -hmm. So you're getting that extra superfood as well as the matcha, which um, is, yeah, is awesome. Yeah, and according to them, we, we... Oh no, we did actually try it, sorry. I think we did. Me, that you can't taste the chlorella in no, it. No, so it wasn't you know, that, strong. Like you say, that extra boost of antioxidants mm. in your drink and you can't taste, taste it. So, yeah, you know, exactly. It's a win -win. Again, we'll put the link to the name of the brand because we are really bad at pronouncing it <laughs> properly. Okay, another one of our favourite brands yes. is the Organic Mushroom Nutrition. Mm -hmm. Now, you can get these in the UK. Um, this is a beauty blend, which I haven't tried before, um, but we're always looking uh, for ways to add more um, adaptogenic herbs. Um, this is specifically for skin, hair mm -hmm. and nails. Um, and it has mushrooms like King Trumpet, Turkey Tail, Reishi, Lion's Mane. Yeah, really great. All organic ingredients as well, which is yes. really cool. Awesome. So, yeah, so these are banana crisps. Again, I think we've uh, getting used to the vegetable crisps out <laughs> in the market now. Yeah, plantain. Plantain. I think oh, yeah, so plantain. Not, so not, ah, yeah. even more. So the brand is called Banana? Banana, yeah, I think that's how you pronounce it. Cool. So they're made with coconut oil as well. Um, so no free radicals from, you know, using anything like a sunflower oil mm -hmm. or olive oil. It's all clean ingredients, so you can eat this guilt-free. And what we also love is that they are championing uh, reducing waste. So they're mm -hmm. using actually upcycled plantains. Um, That's cool. So they're not, you know, creating more waste than a lot of other mm -hmm. products like this might do. Fab. Uh, what else do we have? Okay. Get um, to the end. Oh right yeah, now. well, yeah, this is a brand it. that we really love. Um, they are called Farmers Market, um, and they have organic uh, frozen fruit and vegetables, but they also mm -hmm. have pumpkin. I'm just going back to the time where you tried. So Nat tried the frozen fruit at the expo, and I had a really hard time eating it, and really made yeah. me laugh. <laughs> But it was tasty, it was just pretty yeah. cold. Um, yeah, so this is just an organic pumpkin, which we really love because it's pretty hard to find um, you know, packaged organic pumpkin in the yeah. UK. So we love this brand and mm -hmm. we hope to see you in the UK. You were in the UK, so you need to come back yes. to the UK. <laughs> yeah. So this chocolate, again, I'm, we um, advertised these guys on our social media as one of the brands that we were most excited about at Expo. Um, but at the time, we didn't know how to pronounce the name, so I think it's Chuao, um, but that might be wrong. But um, the lady who formed the company was so, so lovely. We absolutely loved her energy, um, and the packaging of the chocolate and the way that it tasted was so unique. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you might see a lot of these guys on our social media. Yeah, they also had a raspberry rose flavour, which we test, mm. uh, tried, and it was really, really tasty. It was. And this one is a Quinoa Berry Skies, and it's organic, 72% dark chocolate. Lovely. Mm. Oh, okay, so we have another sweetener, um, but this is from New Naturals. So they are a stevia company. Um, and this is a cacao syrup. Uh, we also had a pumpkin pie spice syrup and a vanilla syrup. Um, and we just really love the idea of adding this into our drinks. Mm. Um, they are clean ingredients made from glycerin, water, stevia extra extract, vanilla bean concentrate, um, and uh, organic acai, acai gum, yeah. organic guar gum, and xanthan gum. Well done. Yeah, this was really tasty, wasn't it? Mm, it was. It was really lovely. enjoyed that. Really, really lovely. Oh my gosh, the so I know we're getting through, through, through the stuff. Well, I think I'll talk about Pacifica. So you probably, you guys have seen Pacifica all over the place in the UK at the moment. I believe they might even be in Tesco now, but I'm not sure. Yeah, they are. Yeah? I, d I have seen them. Not Amazing. in all Tescos, but um, what I would do is uh, maybe contact your local Tesco, ask them to so to stock it. Yeah. yeah, definitely. We've done that with a couple of brands, and they've been more than happy to help. 
Um, we're really excited about Pacifica. It's a completely clean and natural uh, makeup brand, and these are makeup white wipes. And all vegan. All vegan, which is amazing. Um, and this is rose and coconut water. We are obsessed with not only pink at the moment, but rose. Yeah, Anything yeah. rose. Um, so yeah, we're really excited to try these. We'll use them on the plane on the way home. Yeah. Well, I don't think we're going to get through everything because there's just so much stuff. Yeah. So, should we give a mention to two more products? Yes. Um, really love this brand based out of New York, I believe. They're called Coco Kind. Um, not all of their products are vegan, uh, but we met the founder and she was really lovely. She's lovely. Um, and we love that they have such clean ingredients, use a lot of organic ingredients. So we got the chlorophyll mask and the raspberry vinegar toner. Um, I'm really looking forward to trying these. Me too. Yeah, yeah we had a lot um, of makeup brands um, that we we didn't think that we would bump into and we definitely didn't think that they'd be vegan and natural so that was really exciting. We thought that it would mainly be food that we were taking home. Yeah, so thanks so much guys for watching this video and if you haven't subscribed to our channel please do and give, us, uh, give this video a thumbs up and we'll make yeah. sure to pop all the links for the products down below. Yeah, amazing. Thank you and stay tuned.